Hello, I'm going to show you how to evaluate an absolute value. And when I say absolute value, you may recognize them before, but it's these two vertical lines that you may sometimes see surrounding a number. So literally I have in my example the absolute value of the number negative 3. Now what the absolute value is, is it returns the distance the number is from 0. So if we're going to do the absolute value of negative 3, I could imagine where negative 3 is on the number line. There we are. And then imagine, okay, how far away is this negative 3 from 0? Well, looks like my distance is about 3 units. And that becomes my answer for evaluating the absolute value. It's just a positive 3. Now, since distance is always positive, when you do an absolute value, you will always get a positive number. This can create quite a shortcut. So even if you have a very large number like negative 23 and you're taking the absolute value, just make it positive. Positive 23. If you happen to have a number that is already positive, no problem. Just keep it positive. So the absolute value of 5 is 5. And there you have it. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.